Okay, guys and gals, here I am with the Brundell CL1500. We're going to take a look at the features. I put some plastic crap here, so that way I can turn it on and obviously not get sprayed. And yeah, we can go through the settings. So the first thing we need to do is deactivate the seat sensor, which you can do. You just press and hold the pulse button over here for four seconds. There we go. Now the unit is on. Let's check out the rear feature. Whoa. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the rear of your bottom right there. Comes out of the top, or well, closer to up here, hole, because there's two holes. And so then you can press that, extend it out, extend it further, extend it even further. Take it all the way in is there. You can go up with the water pressure. That's full pressure right there. Yeah, that's pretty good pressure. So we'll take that back down. And when you need a stop, you just hit stop. So let's say we want the front. To hit the front. I'll make sure it doesn't get hung up over here. Let's see. Ah, the front is that lower hole. Can we extend it out? Yep, that's as far as it goes out. That's all the way back. Water pressure. That's as much pressure as you're going to get with the front. Can you do pulse? That's pulsing. How about gentle? I think gentle requires it too, for whatever reason, reset. I don't know why it has to reset for gentle, but it does. You can turn that one up too. I guess it's not just spraying out, it's more, more water volume, but not pressure. Okay, I need to stop it. Now there's also a strong feature over here. Let's hit strong. Okay. You can turn it down. That was on high. We started on high, turn it down. You can also move the nozzle. And let's hit stop. I now just turned it off, took the override off. That's so I can turn on the night light. Just press and hold the plus button until the light comes on. And then that's how you get the night light. And just press and hold the plus button. And you can turn that off. The night light is on as a factory default. So when you get it, don't worry like, oh my God, there's a light. You know, how do I turn this off? So you can also turn off that beeping sound by pressing and holding the minus symbol. That way you don't wake people up at night. And now there won't be any more beeping. Let's check out the nozzle cleaning. Press the nozzle cleaning. Oh, 
I recall, it's going to go in and out three times, and it's going to stop. should stop on this time. They say to use a soft, bristle toothbrush, obviously buy one just for this, just for the bathroom, and then you can clean the nozzle, and then all you have to do is hit the nozzle button again, and it's going to go back through, I believe, three more times, and it's clean. And what it's doing right now is it's releasing water up into there, and it's kind of running down, and it's just cleaning off the nozzle, you know? So it's just going through a cycle. And that is it for the nozzle cleaning. Pretty straightforward. Just to let you know, if you leave the heated water on, it's going to drain and refill itself if the seat hasn't been used in 48 hours. So there's a timer there. So if you were to leave, there's a tank in here, and it's going to drain, and it's going to refill itself just to get out any dirty water, any calcium probably build up, just to make the seat last longer. The Brundel Bidet Swash CL1500 also comes with a deodorizer. It's going to run for one minute after the seat has been vacated. So after you have left, it's going to run, and I guess just clean up the air somewhat in here. So that, that's pretty cool. You can also do a sits bath mode. So let's go to rear. Oh, I have to uh, manually activate this again. So pulse. It's on. Hit the, and you heard no beat now because I had turned that off. Rear. So now to activate the sit, the sits bath mode, you want to press and hold the nozzle cleaning. So this is supposedly the sits bath mode. I don't really notice a difference. I just turned off that mode. I can move that still. I can turn up the pressure. And we'll hit stop again. You can also activate the sits bath mode if you hit if you're in front too. And it's supposedly supposed to be real gentle. I, I didn't see that it was being real gentle, but it will run up to five minutes. So I just learned something I didn't know because I've been like, well, you always have to turn everything on manually. Well, actually, you eco mode. So what you want to do is you want to be in eco mode. You got two settings. And the settings are standard eco mode and a high efficiency eco mode. And in standard, it's going to be a yellow light. High efficiency is going to be the green light. This way, I believe, you can have your seat temp on, your water temp to where you like it, put it on high, and it's going to heat up the water, it's going to heat up the seat right now because it thinks I'm on here because I overrided the seat sensor. And if I was done, it's going to not just waste energy by keeping all that heated. As soon as I sit down, it's going to go to the last known setting and it's going to heat everything up for you. So if I turn this off, I think I, you know, it thinks I got up from it. That's what it's going to look like over there. And now it's on the eco mode, the standard eco mode, by the way. And it says it's going to heat the water to 
89.6 Fahrenheit once a person sits on the bidet. This wash will revert to the last seat and water temperature setting used. Press the Eco Mode button until there are no indicator lights on to deactivate Eco Mode. So you're probably wondering what is high efficiency Eco Mode? Press the Eco Mode button until the green light is on for high energy savings and the seat and water temperature will turn off when the bidet is not in use. Once a person sits on the bidet, the swash will revert to the last seat and water temperature setting. Press the Eco Mode button until there are no indicator lights. So basically, it sounds like it totally shuts everything off. I'm guessing no hot water in the internal tank or anything. It's what it sounds like to me. If you want to see how the dryer button works, let's take a look at that. I fool it again. Think, think I'm uh, sitting on it. Okay, it's on. Dryer. You're not going to really see anything, but you can hear it. And you also have dryer temp too. You just use these buttons again. I have it all the way on high. I personally don't think that will actually dry you unless you sat there for quite a while. Um, I don't really understand that myself. And to me, you're just blowing E. coli all around in the bathroom here. So I probably personally will not be using the dry feature. It just seems kind of silly to me, but that's just my personal preference. One recommendation for that nightlight, I wish there was a separate button, maybe right at the front here, that you could just press and turn on the nightlight or have a, a timer or something because I personally don't need it or have it hooked to the seat so when you open the lid, it turns on. I mean, I know where the toilet is, it's my house. I, I know exactly where I'm going. I don't need to find the toilet but it would be nice to be able to have a low light to pick my aim, right? Hit the target. So anyways, that is the Brundell Swash CL1500. And hopefully that gave you a better idea of what works, what the features are, what it looks like. And you can decide for yourself if this is the model for you or not. This is not a paid thing from Brundell. I bought this from Costco.com online, $189. Check out Costco. I'm not paid by them either. And, you know, decide for yourself if this is the one. For that price, I think it is the one to try. So, everyone, hopefully this helped you out. Please like, subscribe, check out my other videos. And you all stay well and stay safe, my friends. Have a good one. Bye.